Hi guys, welcome to another Flight Deck 2 Sim tutorial. In today's video, we're going to conduct a takeoff and apply the noise abatement departure procedure for the airport we're departing from using my company's operating procedures. So, we're currently in East Midlands Airport holding short of runway 27. We're all ready for takeoff, just holding on the before takeoff checklist. Just going to talk to you a little bit about noise abatement departure procedures before we get going. Now, as you can imagine, commercial aircraft like the 737 and all modern aircraft are very noisy, especially when they've got takeoff power set. So to help lower the nose footprint of the aircraft, uh, ICAO have a set of rules to be applied, and they are called the noise abatement departure procedures. There's essentially two, and they've been updated recently. We call it NADP1 and NADP2. Now, by far the most common is NADP2, which is the one I want to talk about first, and that helps reduce noise for... Uh, uh, people who live uh, maybe a little bit further away from the airport but on the SID and that helps lower noise for those people on the departure path in that area. And with the NADP2 departure what we need to do is initially we take off, rotate, we climb at a speed of V2 plus 10 to V2 plus 20 and then not at a height less than 800 feet we, uh, well in this aircraft, bug up and then we retract the flaps on schedule. The other departure, the NADP1, which isn't as common is very similar except we delay the bug up speed until 3000 feet as opposed to uh, 800 feet on the NADP2 and that helps reduce noise for people who are very close to the airfield who perhaps just live on the airfield perimeter. Now the one we're going to fly to today is the slightly less common one of the NADP1 uh, departure from East Midlands and we fly this departure from this airport very early in the morning so we don't wake up all the people uh, who are sleeping nearby and how do we apply that? Well. I'll talk you through it as we take off. We're going to accelerate the aircraft, engage the autopilot at a thousand feet, and then let the aircraft continue to climb at V2 to V2 uh, plus 10 to V2 plus 20, sorry, until 3,000 feet above aerodrome level. Then we're going to increase the uh, aircraft speed by bugging up and then retracting the flaps on schedule. Which you can find all the information on what to fly in the airfield uh, briefing pack, and you can see here at East Midlands Airport, based on the guidance I've told you, it's the NADP1 departure to follow. So, we're all ready to go, let's do the before takeoff checklist and below the line. And fly deck to sim, holding Alpha 1, runway 27, ready for departure. Flight deck to sim, runway 27, clear takeoff, surface wind 270 at 8 knots. Clear takeoff, runway 27, fly deck to sim. Okay, so now we've been cleared to take off, we can put the retracts fixed landing lights on, we put the strobes to steady, and... We're all ready to do the before takeoff checklist, uh, what we call below the line. So you see here there's a line, and then below the line we need to do the following things. So in my company, we engage LNAV, auto throttle, captain would turn the weather radar on, the first officer would seat the cabin crew uh, for departure and move the transponder to TAR8. Right. So all ready to line up, so we say clear left, clear right, and then we can line up. And then for takeoff, check this blue line is MCP set transponder. We have TARA landing and strobe lights, they are on, and the retracks are on. Before takeoff, check this is complete. So let's line up. And remember, this is an NADP 1 departure we're going to fly today, which is the least common type. So we're going to just accelerate the aircraft. 3,000 feet as opposed to 1,000 feet. Overshot the lines like that. There we go. Lining up on 27 as we do. That wasn't actually overshot, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so now we've lined up, we've got 266270, so I'm pointing a little bit to the left, not the best there. And then we can start the timing. Set the thrust initially to 40% to wait until the EGT is stabilised. bit more just get 40% stabilized looks good set takeoff for us pushing toga and we have takeoff thrust set indications are looking normal uh, light forward pressure on the control column prior to 80 knots to increase the no steering effectiveness 80 knots checked release the forward pressure on the control column just using rudder to maintain the center line there's throttle holds Approaching V1, the end of the no-go decision speed. 
Rotates two to two and a half degrees per second. Get to about ten degrees. And then we're airborne. Keep pitching up to fifteen degrees and onto the flight directors. Gear up. Positive rate of climb. Continue to find the flight directors. And as soon as we raise the gear, pilot monitoring would turn off the retracks and the taxi lights. Verify the roll mode at 400 feet, which is L nav. And we're approaching 1,000 feet, which is the height at which we engage the autopilot. So, Command B. And on Daventry 3 November departure, we're flying today. It's a left turn uh, following there. And if it was NADP 2, we'd now bug up and it, it retract the flaps on schedule. But if you remember, as I said again on the runway, it's the NADP 1 departure. Uh, so, we'll just bug up at 3,000 feet. As we turn, make sure you match the heading bug, just in case ATC tell you to maintain present heading. It's very embarrassing if you then push heading select, the aircraft then turns in a direction you don't want to. Very good. So it's a bit of a low workload moment. You can see here, these are called PLIs or pitch limit indicators. That's the attitude at which stick shaker occurs. So waiting until 3,000 feet above aerodrome level, which is 3,300 feet. There we go. We can now bug up and we can bug the up speed. Now this little white bug here, that represents V2 plus 15, it's also the same speed at which we can select flap 1, so long as we're above it. The speed checked, we can now select flaps 1, so long as we're accelerating smoothly to the flap 1 speed, which we are. Get rid of the PFD now. Okay. And this is helping uh, reduce noise to people living close to the airfield. There's the flap 1 speed, so we can now select flaps up, so speed check to flaps up. We can now set standard as we're climbing to a flight level, uh, flight level 90 in this case, waiting for the leading edge flap transit to extinguish. There we go, flaps up no light, so standard set, we can engage, uh, engage the standard pitch mode of VNAV. That's got to 220 knots because if you go to the legs page for this Daventry 3 November, I've got a speed restriction for the initial turn. And now we could do the after takeoff check. So, yeah, we'll do that for a, show you how that's done. So, air conditioning and pressurization. We have 2.0 on the differential pressure, cabin rates climbing, uh, pressurization mode slate auto. Engine bleeds are on, uh, AP bleed off, packs in auto, isolation valves auto. Temperatures are good, check the temperature of the cabin. So, air conditioning and pressurization set. Start switches can go to off. Uh, gear to up and off or break off. And then the after takeoff checklist we can imagine is complete. Anyway, guys, that was the um, NADP 1 departure out of East Midlands Airport on the Daventry 3 November. I hope you found that interesting and learned something new. If you have any questions about noise abatement departure procedures and how else we can apply that, feel free to leave that in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Fly safe. I'll see you for another Flight Deck 2 Sim tutorial in the very near future. Take care. Bye bye.